Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno. I'm the founder of Realman Real Style. Today, I'm going to be speaking with you about what to do with a bulky set of keys. I get this question probably once a month. So, I decided, okay, I need to film a video with this. But when it comes down to it, I really personally don't have a bulky set of keys. I, so, I haven't had this issue and it's why, why I skirted around creating a video for it. However, I went and did some research, bought a number of products and I've got some information to share with you today. Now, before we get into it guys, I would ask you to subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way, these videos come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate the like and if you have something to add, if you feel I missed something in this video, make sure to let me know down in the comments. I read the comments. I try to interact with you guys and I become better whenever you give me information, you give me a little bit of feedback and give me your questions or where, where you want me to head or what do you want me to film next. Okay, so these are my keys. This is what I pretty much use every day. The white card right here is actually a security card to get into the gym in the morning. Uh, I have my truck key. I drive a Chevy pickup truck. Then I've got my office key right here. And then after that, I have my PO box key. So pretty simple. I know some of you guys though have 10 to 20 keys quite a bit more than me. Maybe you have a job that requires you to open and lock buildings at night and in the morning. Perhaps you're in a just an environment that requires a huge or a large number of uh, keys. So, the first thing I would say is for many of you guys that are asking this question, have you actually, I know this sounds basic, but have you figured out a way to simplify the number of keys you're carrying. Perhaps half the keys can actually be left in your vehicle because you don't use them very often. For me, I know that PO box key, literally one third of the, well actually two thirds of the keys on this key ring, I could actually leave in my truck. 99% of the time, I am simply driving my truck here into the office and I could have the keys right in there and I could leave everything but one single key, you know, with me that I take into the house. And my backup set, that's pretty much all there is. So think about is there something you can take off, leave maybe in your vehicle, leave at a specific place at work? By also distributing your keys out, you also reduce the chance of if you were to lose that huge, uh, huge clutch of keys that you're not going to have to replace them all. So that you're also kind of spreading out risk. But think about it and you know, kind of go through: Is it something that I only use this key once a month? I can probably take it off and put it in a certain place where I can grab it later. So we've talked about simplifying your keys. Let's talk then about wallet options. Okay. So, I went on to Amazon, bought quite a few different wallets out there and what I noticed is there is a huge difference in the quality. Some of them, uh, let's just say, are poorly made. They're, I mean, and, and what's interesting is they're all priced at about the same amount. But if you haven't looked at a key wallet, this is something you should consider. So, this one right here I thought was actually made uh, reasonably well and uh, this is made by Osgood Marley. I'm going to link over to an article in which I go into more detail about each of these. But as you can see right here, this has spots right here where you can attach one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight keys. You could probably even double key it, so I guess 16. But eight. This is basically built so you can zip them up and you could put it, you know, in your jacket pocket, put it in your back pocket, put it in your front pocket. There's even some of these that are made that you can actually attach them to uh, maybe your uh, a belt loop, some other place right here on your body. But I like this one, uh, you know, and there's a wide variety. Again, I'm going to link to the article. I'm going to have pictures of all of these. There were too many to for me to go into in one video, but I wanted you to think about have you ever thought about the wallet option? It's an old school method, and there's quite a few, you know, there's trifolds, there's the bifolds. This one actually had a really fancy name, but I wasn't impressed with the quality. So again, all of this information I'm going to go into in more detail over at Real Men Real Style in the actual review. I'm going to link you in the comments. I'm going to also link in the uh, info of the video as well. But this one was pretty neat in the sense of very simple, was just a bit of leather going around. I thought uh, overall pretty good. Now, the last thing that I want to mention is, okay, let's say you've got 20 keys. Antonio, a wallet just isn't going to cut it. Well, own it because that's probably part of your job, part of who you are and you probably need to invest in a professional key ring. Now, there's a wide variety of ones out there. This one I thought was the, uh, it basically called free key system and not for holding as many keys, but it does a pretty good job of the keys coming right off. However, there are ones made by Troika and this one made by Sensei. Uh, two companies I saw dominating over on Amazon. What I really like about these is you can press this, comes right out. There are others that are a bit more complicated. 
This one by Troika actually has a chain. You would attach this to a belt loop or another uh, area on your person that you actually can attach and then pull the key off. Now, this is something I like because if you're in the business, if you're a security guard, if you are a manager where you've got to unlock and open a number of doors for security reasons, you might as well just own it. However, again, get back to point number one of simplicity and possibly spreading out those keys. And uh, make sure to check if your company will actually reimburse you for something like this. So guys, again, I'm going to review and go over more of these. I bought a number of items here and that's, I bought them because of your support and I over, if you go to Real Men Real Style, I'm going to do reviews. I'll link you over to Amazon where you can make the purchase. And I really do appreciate when you follow the link over at Real Men Real Style over to Amazon. I end up getting a very small commission, but those things add up and they enable me to create these, uh, these great videos. So guys, hopefully that helps and has exposed you to some different ideas out there. And uh, let me know in the comments if you've got more to add. And I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.